Okay, guys, I've got another pill for you. We already talked about attention masking, but I just released uh, some new notes that make the whole process a lot easier. So I guess it's time for an update. A quick recap for the newcomers. Let me set up a basic workflow real quick. I need an IP adapter, the unified loader and a plus model. I lower the weight to 0.7 and for the reference I'm using the picture of this astronaut. Connect the model pipeline and in the description I can use something like a close-up of a woman astronaut in an enchanted forest. Let's see what we get. So as you can see there's no trace of enchanted forest. We could play with the weight and with the weight type, but uh, we lose likeliness to the reference. So what I'm going to do instead is uh, to set the weight type back to standard, copy this generation just as a reference and paste it into a load image node. Then open the mask editor and select roughly the center. Now I connect the mask to the IP adapter and generate again. And now she is actually in a forest. I can generate a few more to find a better one. And okay, this is good enough. Now let's say that I want two characters. I can duplicate the IP adapter, connect the pipelines, I need a new image, I'm selecting this anime and another mask. Now I'm editing the two masks so one character stays on the left and one on the right. If I generate now it is not going to work because the text prompt doesn't contain the second girl and all I have to do is to add a close up of two women. And if I generate, I should get more or less what I wanted. I can make a few more and it kind of works, but I have very little control over the details. To make it really effective, I would need an additional mask for the background and regional prompting. So I try to make the whole process a little less tedious. Let me clean up the workflow and start from scratch. In the prompt I have close up of two girlfriends shopping in a sci-fi space station. First let me grab the reference images. I need three load image nodes and the first girlfriend will be this one, the second this anime and this is the sci-fi space station. Now I need to assign a mask to each image. Instead of drawing three masks, I load an image that I created with the rough areas uh, painted in different colors and connect it to a new node that I baked for you called mask from RGB. Connect the image and now you have all the masks ready to be used uh, split for each uh, color channel. If I connect a mask preview to the red, green and black channels, you can see the masks are ready to go. Let's proceed to apply the conditioning. I need an IP adapter regional conditioning node. I connect the first reference and the green mask. Then I copy the node and connect the second reference and the red mask. And once again for the last image. Now as you can see each node also has a negative and positive input. For each reference image we are going to add a text prompt that will let us fine tune the generation. Let me duplicate a clip text and code and in the text I can write illustration of a blonde woman. We don't need to be super detailed as there's a lot of conditioning going on already. In the negative I'm just writing anime since uh, the first reference is not an anime while the second is and I don't want bleeding between them. Now I duplicate the two nodes and repeat for the second girl. The positive will be anime illustration of a young woman with a black jacket. I leave the negative empty for now we may fine tune it later. For the last image I'm not actually adding any text conditioning as the scene is already described in the main prompts and I don't think I need any more. 
but of course you are free to add more conditioning if you need. Okay, we are ready to merge everything together. For the IP adapter, I use the IP adapter combine params. And for the prompt, I use a conditioning combine multiple. I connect only the first two as the last one doesn't have any text embeds, but I also need to connect the main scene conditioning. And I repeat everything for the negative. For ease of access, if you want, you can color the positive and negative nodes. Now we need an IP adapter from params, the unified loader, and connect everything to the model pipeline. Let me bring the case sampler and all closer to the IP adapter and connect positive and negative. Finally, I'm lowering the weight a little for all the images to 0.7 and I think I'm ready to generate. Oh shit, this is so cool. Now I can do some fine tuning. For example, there's like a stain on the face of the girl on the right, so I can try to add uh, to the negative dirt, scar and tattoo. I'll also increase the weight a little. And let's see if that is enough. Yeah, pretty good. Of course, being an SD15 checkpoint, the resolution is not very high, but I can upscale with whatever strategy. Let's do a latent model upscale real quick. I can simply duplicate the K sampler, connect the latent to the upscaler, set the denoise pretty high. Let's start with 0.55 and change the seed. I can also lower the steps, then bring everything to the pixel space and a preview. Let's see. Yeah, very nice illustration. Now with this workflow, you have an incredibly fine grained control over the final composition, both with image and text conditioning. And the great thing about this is that you can mix very different styles if the checkpoint supports them. For example, let me grab this photo. In the positive, I put photo of a woman wearing a fashion clothing. And in the negative, anime, illustration and painting. If I generate now, I get a realistic character together with an anime, all in just one generation. And that's pretty insane. Of course, there will always be some bleeding and the result varies a lot based on the subject. As always, this is not magic, but if you understand how it works, you should be able to adjust to any scenario. Let's up the game a little. I'm using the picture of this cat and this tiger. In the main prompt, I write close up of a cat and a tiger playing in a sci fi space station. For the regional prompt, I use close up of a cat, detailed, high quality, and in the other one, a close up of a tiger. For now, I'm removing any negative. Let me disable the upscaled image and generate. Since cat and tiger are very close concepts, uh, the model will make a mess. And yeah, the cat got tigerized. Okay, it seems that tiger has a stronger value, so I'm lowering the image weight to 0.6. Then in the cat positive prompt, I need to be more specific, like close up of a Siamese cat. And in the negative, I'm adding tiger. Since I am at it, I'm also adding cat in the tiger negative. I think we are ready to try it. Yeah, now there's a lot less bleeding. Let's try another seat. Now, the problem is that the reference of the tiger is not great, so let me fix that. I'm using an image crop node to cut a portion of the reference. I add the preview to see what I'm doing, and this should be fine, and I can send it to the IP adapter and see what happens. Ah, uh, now it's much better. There's still a small amount of bleeding, but we are very close. I think now you have all the tools to work on your own. Okay, that's pretty much it. 
Let me thank again all my sponsors. Remember that if the whole community can enjoy open source code and videos like this one, it's only because of the companies and individuals that are actually supporting my work. Good. I think that's all for today. See you next time. Ciao.